And welcome back to another one of my math party people, Coach Anderson here, and let's go ahead and ace the ASVAB with this one. So this is another proportion question, just like yesterday's video, except this one is a total question. So it's not a regular part to part problem, it's a total question, and I'll show you exactly how to do it here and in tonight's follow up class to yesterday's class. So again, it's Tuesday, and today's actually the first day of our Black Friday sale, so you can go ahead and use the code BF. 24, so Black Friday 24, use that code and you can save up to 67% on our full ASVAB program to get everything you need to raise your score. So let's go ahead and just dive on in here, my party people. So first things first, as always, you know, we're gonna read the question. It says, how many orange marbles are in the container? All right, sounds good. So what we wanna know is the number of orange marbles equals blank. Okay, cool. But remember that in the same sentence as the question sentence, whenever you see the word if, that's going to really identify any extra information that you might want to include with that answer. And so right here, we have 126 total marbles. How many orange? So again, with those orange marbles, they are amongst 126 total. So I'm going to write that down right there. And then I'm going to read through the information to make sure that I can line everything up. Because just like in yesterday's video, like I said, it's all about comparing the same things in the same way. So this is gonna be a tricky one because when you look at comparing the same things, we're looking at orange versus total, but when you read the actual context, you'll see blue versus orange. And so this can be plenty confusing for many folks, but one of the main mistakes that people will make is they'll take a look at this and think, Okay, cool. I have all of the numbers that I need. I'm just going to line up orange with orange. So 32 orange. I'll write that right here. Nice and easy. 32. And that's correct because you are comparing the same things and they're both first. So that's correct. But it's over here when people start freaking out. Most people will think, hey, okay, we have four blue. I'm just going to go ahead and throw four right there and hope for the best. And when we do that, that typically gets us in a little bit of trouble, you know? And the reason is because we're not comparing the same things in the same way. Orange to orange, sure. But total to blue, that doesn't make sense. We need to figure out how to get the total over here. And I'll show you how to do that pretty simply. It's actually pretty straightforward. The way that we're going to do that is, well, how do you get a total? You add everything up. So if we have 32 orange, and then four blue in that same sense right over here. So if we have 32 orange and four blue, add them up. What do you get? What's the total? The total is going to be 36, just like that. 36 total. Again, we get that total to get the same comparison and we got it by adding the pieces that we had. If it's 32 parts orange to four parts blue, we have 36 total parts. And there we go. So now that we have that, now we can put ourselves in a good position to actually solve this proportion because we have compared the same things in the same way. I'll just throw an X right there and now we can set it up and solve. So we'll have X over 126. Again, comparing orange to total. And then we're gonna compare orange to total again. 32 over 36. And there we are, my math party people. The next step that we need to take here is going to be solving the proportion. We can simplify first to make our lives a little easier, and then from there we can solve. So to simplify this a little bit, first I ask myself, well, you know, can 36 go into 126? If it's not obvious, no worries. But then I have this fraction over here, 32 over 36, that I can definitely simplify. I can definitely simplify it by dividing both the numerator, the top, and the denominator, the bottom. I can divide both of them by four. So once I do that, to simplify the fraction, to give myself an easier time, because who the heck is going to want to cross multiply 32 by 126? Not me, hopefully not you. But once we go ahead and do that and divide both by 4, we'll get x over 126 still on the left. And then 32 divided by 4 on the right side, that's going to be 8. And in the denominator, 36 divided by 4 will be 9. So we gave ourselves a much better position here, because if we cross multiply now, much more manageable. I think we can agree with that. So from here, you know, if we wanted to use some mental math, we could. Nine does go into 126. Um, I believe that's going to be an exact uh, 14 times. But if you didn't know that, again, cross multiplying and dividing is the way to go. So x times nine, 9x. 126 multiplied by eight, 
we can go ahead and do that here. So 126 times eight, six times eight is 48, carry the four. Two times eight is 16, carry the four is 20. And then one times eight is eight, carry the two is 10. So we have nine X equals 1008. And the last step we'll take is divide by nine and we're good. Notice that these steps are doable. They just might take a couple of seconds, but they're very doable. And that's the good thing about all of these questions that you'll be facing. So we have nine going into 1008. Nine goes into 10 just one time, leaving a one. Same thing, nine goes into 10 one time, leave that one. And then we have the eight right here. Nine goes into 18, that'll be twice, exactly twice. And we are done, just like that. So we have X equals 112, and that's gonna be 112 orange marbles in this lot. And there we are, my party people. So like I said, come join us in tonight's class. We are following up on yesterday's proportions class, so we're gonna be doing more test level questions. That way you can continue raising your score to get the job you want. And number two, don't forget about our Black Friday sale that's actually starting again today. Using the code BF24, you can save up to 67% off, so hundreds of dollars off of our full ASVAB program. That way you can raise your score and get that job you deserve. As always, my party people, keep on keeping on, move forward the right way, and I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Cheers.